Think you've got the fastest fingers in the West? Prove it and send KJ and Kirby a text to My96 text line. Four five eight three ninety six one. Let's go live now to, sh- I believe, Charlottetown or maybe Summerside. Those are the only two cl- towns I know in in PEI. Let's go live right now to PEI, where Rattlers golf coach Trevor Moore is on the show. Morning, Trev. How are you? I'm great. How are you guys? Good. Uh, Charlottetown, Summerside, are there any towns that I'm missing? Or where are you guys right now? <laughs> yeah, well, we're staying in Charlottetown. We're just across the bridge in Stratford, but really everything is so small out here. It's right side by side. So, how is island life? You guys got there, I guess, on Sunday. Tell me all about it. Yeah, actually, we arrived Saturday to uh, spend some, or we flew in late Saturday, had supper. But uh, you know, it's interesting. I, I'm actually two things I'm surprised about is um, the island itself is bigger than I thought, uh, but Charlottetown is a city is much smaller than I thought. So it's kind of taken aback. But you know, it's really neat out here. It's kind of a uh, a real small town feel. We, we decided we were going to go out for a really nice meal on Sunday and, and walk around downtown and every place was closed. Uh, they close on Sunday. So wow. it, was really, it was really bizarre, really laid back, but it's really a cool place. Yeah. So, so tell me if you uh, go to the tallest building and you look out the window, can you see the ocean all around you? Is it that, sm- is, it's, it's not that small then, is it? No, it's, uh, it's not that small. No, you, if it's, uh, we, we did a, a little trip up to the North coast, which was only, you know, 10 minutes, uh, the other day in a van, and uh, we walked along the beach and hiked in. It was pretty fun, and uh, the players did some shots uh, off the sand beaches just, just for some uh, some cool memento photos. So it was pretty neat. But you know, you do see waters, but everywhere the golf course. I'm standing right now. Uh, I can see down the hill, looking over the harbor in Charlottetown, and I can see the uh, the big ships in the harbor, and and uh, drinking my coffee. So it's actually beautiful. Yeah, nice. I bet it is. But, hey, the reason why you're there, the Rattlers golf team, it's the CCAA Golf National Championships. We've got a great group of local golfers that, uh, quite frankly, are impressing a lot of people at the Nationals. Tell me about it and tell me what happened last night. Well, they're turning a lot of heads for sure. And I mean, uh, last night at the awards banquet, uh, we had both uh, Becky and Danielle won CCAA All-Canadian Awards. Uh, so just a tremendous honor and accolade for them for their uh, their efforts and their work uh, and play this year. So I mean that that was uh, quite a night for them to to be there on stage at that event and be a grant of those awards. So we couldn't be happier for them. So that was exciting. Um, but you know they they both earned it and the whole team as well with Nicole. I mean they've played well all year, made tons of noise. Uh, they got into sixth in the national rankings and uh, they came here and they came here with a plan. So That's they're great. ready to execute today. They're, all three ladies are off. They just teed off. So. Um, they're on the course, and now it's time to get to work. So, a- as a coach, then while the game is going on, are you like, are you you're not caddying or anything? Are you like, what is your job at this point? Yeah, well, we're not uh, technically the players aren't allowed caddies. Um, we're allowed to walk shoulder to shoulder with the players, uh, discuss ideas, strategies, thoughts with them as much as we want. We just can't stand on the greens at all, so we can't read putts or anything like that. But uh, I'll get out in the golf course and spend the entire day walking around from one group to the next to the next to bounce around with the players, make sure everybody's uh, playing well, see if anybody's got any needs or anything like that, and, and just try to keep everybody nice and level. So you must be super proud, though, Trevor. Oh, yeah. Uh, very proud. Um, you know, I, they've done a great job. It's really neat, a neat experience anytime you can, you can, you can qualify for something like this and, and get out here. And it's, a, it's a special group that we have this year. I mean, Danielle has been, uh, this is her fifth and final year, so it's kind of a bittersweet year. It's a chance to, to get here with her. I mean, I almost feel like a, a father. Um, talking about his daughter. I've watched her grow for five years, both as a person and a player, and uh, quite proud of her. So that was a nice night last night, and, and it's just going to be a great opportunity to experience it with him on the golf course this week as well. Trevor Moore, Rattlers golf coach. The Rattlers golf team is at the uh, Nationals in Prince Edward Island right now, and uh, Trevor is with them. Now, Trevor, let's talk just a little bit about the golf course. I mean, here, if you go golfing, you got to look out for geese stealing your ball. If you go to Florida, you got to look out for gators. Let me guess, lobsters on the course in PEI. No, quite interesting, uh, foxes. There's a rule in place what? here in case foxes steal your golf ball. Yeah, there's foxes everywhere. Um, we got some great photos yesterday of them coming right up to us and, and uh, standing right beside us. And, yeah, they're, the foxes are adorable. Uh, um, they're something. all over the place up here. Yeah, all right. Uh, Trev, give our regards to uh, all of your uh, golfers there. And I uh, hope you guys have a great time. It sounds like a lot of fun. And uh, when are you back? When's it all done for you guys? Well, we uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is play, and we'll fly back in uh, Saturday mid-afternoon. All right. Well, hey, you guys are representing us very, very well, so thank you to, to your entire entourage there. Awesome. Thanks for having us. Thanks for your time, guys.